Mouse coordinates and win title are something that you use really often in AutoHotKey. To get them, you probably use Windows Spy or have a simple hotkey to show them in the message box. Well, I have that, but much better. A function that you can call with a hotkey that shows you a GUI. Whatever you click at gets copied to a clipboard and then you can easily paste the coordinates or the win title in your code. Instead of clicking, you can also use function keys, in the same order, and pressing escape would close the GUI. With these two functions, you can easily get what you want without the need to type it in yourself. Alright, how do you use it? First, copy the code I leave in the description and paste it into your main script. Then, create hotkeys that call the functions. Keep in mind, you can't have a hotkey to call both of them. And overall, you can't have both of them at the same time. That's all the info we need to use them. Right now, I'll explain how the code works. Let's start out with chord getter. Chord mode lets us get different types of coordinates. And then mouse get position gets those coordinates into variables. We create the GUI, set how big it is, and how big the text will be. Then we actually add the GUI text what it's going to show, and its position in relation to the last text. We also need to get the object to the text, so we can make it do something when clicked on. We'll get to these functions in a bit. The hotkey function creates a hotkey that does a function object when pressed. A function object is essentially you pre-setting parameters you pass into a function to then call that object without parameters, because you already set them. So, we're basically calling a function with parameters we set beforehand. Then, on event of clicking, the next GUI, we call the function object. Now let's make the objects. For that, we're going to be using arrow functions. If you don't know how they work, you can watch my tutorial on them, link in the description. Here are the function objects that we're getting, and here's what they do. Before we check out two clip and flush hotkeys, I want to explain the asterisks. On event and hotkey require parameters that we're not going to use. The asterisk means and any other parameters. So, with it, we take care of the required parameters without actually caring about them. We created the hotkeys that we're only gonna use for the GUI. If we destroy the GUI and try to press F1 for something else, we're gonna get an error, because it tries to use the hotkeys we created. So, for this reason, we also have to remember to destroy all the hotkeys we created, not only the GUI. And flush hotkeys does exactly that, disables all the hotkeys and destroys the GUI. The reason why it doesn't also copy the text is because when we press the X button on the GUI, or press escape, we just want to close the GUI and do nothing. It would make no sense to even touch the clipboard at that point. That's where 2Clip comes into play. It flushes the hotkeys and also copies the text. So now coming back, we see that pressing the function keys, or clicking on the text, copies what it's supposed to, disables all the hotkeys and destroys the GUI. But if you close the GUI or press escape, it only disables the hotkeys and destroys the GUI, without copying anything. Window Getter works in a really similar way, I'm sure you'll spot the similarities. First, we get the different types of win titles, create the GUI the same exact way, then add the text and get its object, Use the same two functions, just for less hotkeys. Create the function objects, to use in hotkeys and on event. So, there's no difference in the idea of how it works. That's all the code explained. I hope you will find this useful and have a good day.